Hey guys, welcome to Diecast Reviews. So I'm doing a review on Celine DeFair here, who was a Chase. Who appeared in Cars 2, obviously, like they're Cars 2. See Porter Corsa in the background, though she did not appear in Porter Corsa, but this is, you know, this was like the standard background for all the cars released uh, from 2011 to 2012, and then 2013 they went to series for the first time. She was a Chase only at Kmart, she was a Kmart Collector's Day exclusive. So, uh, I got this off eBay, so someone obviously got this off Kmart, and that sticker has stayed on there for about, um, 2012, what, like, eight years, so, yeah. You can see Ace with Torch was also at the Kmart day, and then these four, uh, World Grand Prix racers. I do believe these were all rubber tired, though. Uh, I think. Yeah, you can see Ace with Torch there, and I think these were rubber tires, because, uh, they had Selena Fair, they also had, like, I think, I think Alex Hugo, I think this was this year, I think... Selene DeFair was also Alex, the same Alex, uh, same collector's day as Alex Hugo. Maybe not, The maybe Alex Hugo was with, like, some of the other silver racers or something. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Let's see Compton's one vehicle. Obviously, 2012 because co copyright 2011 there. Maybe it's, like, a late 2011 release. Maybe it's, like, an October collector's day. I don't know. To collect them all, there. Uh, yeah, Chase vehicles comprise less than 1% of the vehicles in this assortment. It basically means there's one per case. It's like Chase. Uh, not a super chase where there's only 4,000, but a chase where it's only one per case. Um, I think that's how it was. I don't remember. They stopped doing chases for some reason. Um, they just kind of switched all their gears over to the chase. I think last time we got it, just a strict chase piece. I think that was 2013, if I'm not mistaken. Or um, actually, no, I think I think it was 2014, actually. I think, um, the Casino Pitties, Marcelo and Marco, I think those were the last chase pieces we ever got in the Cars lineup. So in 2015, they just did Super Chases. But yeah, let's get on with a review of Celine DeFair here. As you can see right off the bat, the big thing about her is that her eyes are not where they normally are for any die cast, any car. In the Cars universe, you can see Sean crash here. His eyes will be right here where the window is, or the, um, yeah, the window is. And uh, her eyes are in the headlights, which I think before cars, most animators are like, there was a line of like Citron cars or something like that, or uh, Citgo, sorry, Citgo, uh, the gas station, they produced a line of cars and theirs had the eyes in the la uh, lights, I think, in the light area, I think. But um, yeah, obviously we're used to seeing cars have their eyes here. They put Celine DeFair, DeFair's eyes here. So it does look a little bit creepy if you compare it to a normal person. Because if this is the, um, this is like the face, this is the mouse. This would be like the cheeks or something or the nose. I don't know. Um, but yeah. uh, you can see she does have a mouth though right there. She has her smile there. She has a logo on the front. Not exactly sure what that logo means. It's not in the back. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what that logo is supposed to mean. Here's a look at her eyes, just because. The camera will focus. There you go. Obviously, she's got a lot of detail, a lot of rust, obviously, at the Paris, Paris Parts Market. This is where she appears. She's got a lot of dirt and rust all over her. She's got the wheels here, and they say... Zoom in a lot. Let's see if you can see what they say. Not exactly sure what they say. Looking through a monitor, though, maybe you guys can see it on the uh, big video. I think those says Rodella something or something like that. Uh, sporty is what it says, like, or sport. I don't know. Let's see something. Looks like something like sport dub or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. You can see made in China. On the base, you probably should zoom out for that. I'm not exactly sure what's on the wheels, but I do like the lettering on the wheels and then the, uh, kind of the rust in the wheels. But she's got a lot of nice detail with the rust. If you look on this side, the rust is not exactly the same. You can kind of see, like, there's a big dot here and another smaller dot there. If you look here, there's only kind of one dot. One patch of rust, I, rust, I guess. So, yeah, the dust detail, or rust detailing is very nice on the car. You can see the wheels even have different rust detailing there. Although, actually, these, the wheels might be the same. 
Maybe not. Kind of see inside the interior. Right there. Usually we can't see the interior, but if you look on the clutter of Slain up there, just get that over here. You can kind of see in the movie, you could see a bit of the interior. You can kind of see the steering wheel right there and the uh, rear view mirror. So, steering wheel, steering wheel was the interior was visible in the movie, which is kind of interesting because we've never really seen the interior of a car. We don't know what they look like on the inside, but it looks like they're just normal cars on the inside. If we go to the back here, it says Curtain Sit 3. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Maybe I. But, um, that is what the license plate says. You can see the rear view, or the uh, rear taillights there. And you've got this, like, gray thing coming around to the license plate. Got more rust. All the rust. But, uh, very nice. The rust is very nicely detailed on her. So, obviously, she was supposed to be, like, a red sports coupe. She's only two doors. It's, like, supposed to be, like, a red sports car. Kind of like Sean Crash here, but uh, she rusted out. There's the base again. You can see some rust uh, detailing on the bottom there. Nothing on the back there. Okay, I'm not sure what that says. That says like Portig or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, let's put her on the turntable. Now, you know, it's kind of weird in the Cars universe to have one car... That is, you know, like this with the eyes in the headlights. I'm not sure, like, I don't think we ever got an origin story for, for her. We're probably not going to get an origin story for a character that appeared in the movie for precisely, like, two seconds. Oh, she did have a speaking line. But I don't think we'll ever get, like, an origin story or whatever for her. But that would be pretty cool to get. But I don't think we ever will. Here she is compared to Sean Crash. He's an Alfa Romeo. Actually, she's not because she doesn't have his logo on the front. The Alfa Romeo logo. But they do have similarities. Like, they're pretty similar cars. They even got the same little gray things on the back. Both two doors. He is... Looks like he is a convertible, though. Where she is not. But, uh... Camera kind of picks him up as orange. But because that's sliding. But he looks pretty orange on the camera. He is, he is red in real life. He is the same color as... Um... Just if you want to see, I don't know if you can pick that up, but there is like an ambulance or something going by, so sorry if you can hear that. I really can't do anything about that. Um, yeah, that's pretty loud. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I think you can. Also, you can see she doesn't have the um, rear view mirrors here. Forgot what they were called for a second. You can see there are some differences. Like, she, he's got these red thing, uh, silver things. He, she doesn't. So, obviously, not the same exact model, but they are very, very similar. He is just way shorter than her. Um, I don't know why I bought him out. I thought he would be much more similar to Schrodinger than he actually is. Here's Jumpstar J Ward. Same model as, like, Victor pa Pave One or Pavioni. Um, and uh, David Hopscap. He's a Jaguar, though. Uh, here we have Michael Schumacher Ferrari. Again, I thought he'd be a lot more similar to Celine than he actually is. We can see the interior of him, though. We can see the uh, engine. I think he's the only other car where we can actually see inside. You can obviously see inside her there. Can't see how the top is screwed on there. But yeah, he's a Ferrari. I doubt she is. And here's Fabrizio, who I think is... Actually, I think it is a real model. I think I uh, knew what the model, the real model was when I did my review on it, but I forgot what it was. I think I learned it specifically for that review. It's a real car that they base them off of. You can see the G. That, that's, some, that's what it's called. It was like a prototype. I don't, I don't, there was only a few made. A very expensive sports car, obviously, and that is what he is. So, yeah. Uh, very similar to Sean Crash is Celine Defoe. Very, very similar. Way more similar than I honestly thought. Let's give her a ride on the turntable. And I will put up a picture of where she appeared in the movie. Um, she appeared in the Porsche market scene, like I said. To uh, and She scared Mater, because obviously she thought, or he thought, she was sleeping. And uh, then she opened her eyes, and they were in... Lights, which um yeah so obviously creeped him out so uh, yeah 
thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm not exactly sure what that will be. I say that every time. Uh, I'm going to record these basically every day. So, but yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see y'all in the next video, whatever that one may be. Hit that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. Share the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.